Okay, I made the next two if statements. UI dot button open bracket new rect open bracket down arrows open square bracket close square bracket 28 sorry comma down arrows <coughs> open square bracket close square bracket 29 comma down arrows Open square bracket 30, closing square bracket, a comma, down, arrows, open square bracket, close square bracket 31, comma, two speech marks, comma, down, arrow, skin dot, custom styles. Open square bracket zero, closing square bracket, um, closing bracket, and one more closing bracket to close the if statement. Paste the debug line, change this three to a two, change that up to a down, like so. And let's do the last down arrow GUI dot button. Open bracket new rect open bracket down arrows open square bracket closing square bracket 32 comma down arrows open bracket close bracket square bracket sorry 33 comma <coughs> down arrows open square bracket close square bracket 34 comma down arrows um, open square bracket 35 closing square bracket after this closing bracket put a comma two speech marks comma down arrow skin dot custom styles open square bracket close square bracket zero and two closing brackets and once again leave a space put the debug line change this to three as it is and just put this to down save it go back into unity let it update all right Okay, so up in sight. As you can see the oop. Oh yeah, index arrays are arranged. Yeah, that's fine. So this is 28 currently. We need it to 36, as you can see. And then we're just going to put the values in. So 28 is going to be. Um, hold on. Thirty-one point six. Okay, then two three three point seven, and one eight three. Thirty-one is going to be the same. Thirty-two is going to be thirty-one point six, and two uh, two three three point seven. And 183. Okay, then we're just going to reposition these. So the first one, as always, is in the right place. So 24 will leave. Then what we're going to do, we're going to jump straight to 28. So we're going to move 28 to the one side. Okay, like so. And then we're going to go to 32, element 32, and just move that to one side as well. And there we go. We've got the down arrows sorted out for this. So we're just going to clear this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, head on the cog view, I'm going to copy the components, I'm going to shut the game off, I'm going to paste the values, save it, and run the game once again, and this time if we hit, oops, sorry, my mistake, 
just turn these off because I like to test things while they are being input into the game. Save it. <laughs> Goodness, my nose is so runny right now. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. So, customization, weapon sight. There we go. All, th all the up arrows and all the down arrows. Now, let's see if we got them in the right place. So, one, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Fantastic. Back arrow won't do nothing yet because we're not we haven't set that up basically so we can stop the game for now okay next step Oop. let me just check how long we recorded for 26 minutes so far not bad next step is to play the right animation so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to go down actually go down to the very end um, Where is it? It's one of these ones we can reuse. It's not add barrel animation, is it? Yes, it is. We're going to use this function. So I'm going to copy this function. Okay. Function add barrel animation. And I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to look for the GY for the weapon site. I'm going to call that function in here and I'm going to close that off. I'm going to go back into Unity. Get my script compile. Alright. I'm going to run it and let's see what happens if I click on that button. Correct. This is the right animation I want to play. But I might change this animation in the future because, as I told you, I might get new assets and they might have different animations. So I don't want this animation to be the same one as the first one. Now the problem is, if we click back, this is going to happen. So, um, what's it currently called? Adding items, we can't call it the same. Doing nothing? Uh, I might have to change that actually. Actually, let's... Let's rename this and we'll make a new one. Adding scope animation. Down. Let's go down to our function area and we'll make a brand new function. Um, we'll place this <coughs> at the very bottom. Function. Capital A, add scope animation, open square bracket, close, oops, sorry, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, closing curly brace. I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to copy this two lines and I'm going to paste them in here. Okay, this one's going to remain as it is. This one we're going to change to adding um, adding scopes. That should be fine. Now adding scopes isn't right. Let's name it to um, scope change. Okay, like so. Then we're going to go back into unity because we placed that uh, function into the if statement already so it should work all right we hit this we hit that and did the name change scope change fantastic now if we hit back nothing happens so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the back button next so I'm gonna scroll up here okay this is our back button. Underneath this, I'm going to say if, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close and curly brace, current animation state is equals equals to scope change, 
like so. I'm going to say wait till fade. We have that function already, so we're going to reuse this one. If you don't know what it does, I'll explain quickly. It just tells wait 0.3 seconds and make back button false. That's all. Then I'm going to say current animation state equals doing nothing. Like so. And I'm going to say current object dot animation dot crossfade open square bracket open bracket close bracket two speech marks comma one um, and inside here we're just gonna say what did I call it stop attachment now the reason to that is because the animation is the same at the moment and they both use the same in and out animation. So that should be fine. Like so. Uh, please excuse my runny nose. And inside here I'm going to say show box equals false. Um, And also, I need to actually send it back to its idle. So we're going to say adding to normal, open square bracket, close, open bracket, close bracket, sorry. Let me just double check if, that, if that's the right function we need. Yeah, stop attachment back to idle. Perfect. Uh, anything else I need to turn off? Weapons, site arrow show equals false okay we're gonna go here <coughs> right run unity and it should work so we hit this normal one we go back and we hit customization we go back when we hit weapon sight, oops, animation was still playing, sorry. It works perfectly. Perfect, and the current animation state changes back to nothing. Okay, so what's next? Um, uh, if you remember over here, we did this. We had the position changing. We need to do that for the other ones as well, so let's do that next. Before I do anything, I'm going to add those to this, so when we press up, down, it happens as well. So let's do that quickly. Stop the game, go in here. Save your script. Now I'm just going to quickly find the right stuff. Okay, here it is. I'm just going to copy this. So it goes true. Okay, don't worry, that's fine. So here, paste the first one, then go over here. Actually, undo that. <coughs> Leave the debug just in case. Barrel attachment one, that's the one. In here, we're going to paste that one. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it underneath here. Put this to false. Put this to. I think laser is the second one or light? Light. No. Yeah, light. And the last one's laser. So, chain this to true. Like so. Alright, and the last one down here. Put this to false. Put this to true. Okay, let's go into Unity and just double check we did that for the right arrows. <coughs> okay, so here we go. 
So if I hit this, it should still take me to the same places. Yep. 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 We're currently there, so we can't go to the same place again. Yep. 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 Perfect. So let's do this for the next ones. So for this one, um, this button here is going to change the scope. These two I'm not going to add yet because I need the right animation for those. So we're just going to work with the first one for this one. So let's stop the game. Go into Unity. Go to the front. Sorry, more develop. <laughs> go to the top. Underneath here, where it says camp settings, we're going to put a new variable. We're going to call this var new scope change position. It's going to be a type of vector three and <coughs> closing semicolon. Goodness. Uh, and we need a boolean for that. Var Scope um, change scope change to try and think of a good name scope change um, main <laughs> that should be alright yeah it's gonna be type boolean it's gonna be equal to false well Okay. Anything else I need? I might as well make the other ones as well. Var scope change. Um. <coughs> well, it's gonna be changing the radical so let's just call it scope chain rat uh, no I see let's just call it a radical yeah scope chain radical because we're gonna be changing that as well it's gonna be equals to false as well really What else can we change on the scope? I'm just trying to think. Maybe the glass color? For scope change. Oops. Um. The radicals done. The main scope itself is done. I am just trying to think what a third good option would be. <coughs> I don't know. Let's leave this one for now. If you guys have any ideas in the comment section below, do let me know, and we can add that to that. <clears throat> Sorry. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom. And we're gonna make a new <coughs> a new um, barrel view. Sorry, a new camera view. So we'll call this function scope change view main open uh, open bracket close bracket open curly brace and closing curly brace inside here I'm going to say var scope main change no scope main scope change Scope change M for main 
uh, it's going to be equals to scope change I believe we call it this one so again double check no that's the function you clown scope change main I believe it was so what we're going to do is double check this if you want to do that you just double click this hit control F and it shows you it has two values that are the same name so we just click up we can see right there it's the boolean which is not what we want we are looking for the camera position there we go new scope change position that's what I call it that was the boolean that was incorrect Ooh. new scope change position there we go and over here I'm going to say current cam dot transform dot local position equals vector three dot lerp slurp sorry open bracket current cam dot transform dot local position comma scope change m the value is stored in that temporary variable comma time dot delta time times that by cam smooth okay so I'm gonna copy this function name and I'm gonna go into the buttons we created which are over here weapon site arrows show when we hit the first one we want that to happen so I'm gonna call that function and I'm gonna go down into lines 517 but yours might be different from mine so depending how you space your code I'm going to add this in the first down arrow button as well. Okay, so. Oops. <laughs> 